Hey Facebook, good morning. I'm doing Fashion Friday Live today. I was really, I had another Fashion Friday planned and I'd already filmed it, but for some reason it just wasn't resonating with me today and that happens sometimes. Sometimes I will, um, Bo's gonna freak out. We have a cat outside and that's what's going on. So sometimes I will film a Fashion Friday and it just will not resonate with me anymore and I need to figure out, you know, what I'm gonna talk about. So this is kind of a little bit of a woo-woo Fashion Friday. This definitely is going to make more sense to my granola friends and if not, then I hope that this message will be something that you might wanna think about. So it's June 1st, it's the first of the month. For a lot of us that means we're gonna be paying our bills this month. Um, my bills are all kind of uh, staggered out through the month and I keep them on a schedule, but it's June 1st and it's a really important day to me. So June 1st, four years ago, I got my first dog, my first dog on my own as an adult. Um, I posted photos of him on my Instagram. His name's Arrow and he was named Arrow for one of two reasons. His name was picked out a long time before I even had met him. Um, one being there is a 1970s kids movie called The Point and it also goes along with the record and Ringo narrates it and it's a really cool little story and the dog is the greatest dog in the world and his name is Arrow. So I had his name picked out uh, before I met him. I thought, man, my first dog, I'm gonna name him Arrow. He's hanging out in the background but you can't see him. His little sister is the one causing uh, chaos. So I got him and when I met Arrow for the first time, I was so poor, you guys. I was so unbelievably poor. I had $30 to my name. I was subletting a house from a former friend of mine who decided they were gonna take all my furniture that was in the house. Um, it was just kind of a weird time. I had a roommate uh, for like three weeks when that happened and the roommate it didn't work out. So I was, I was about to be homeless, you guys. But for some reason, I just thought, I'm gonna look in the free section on Craigslist. And I saw free Maltese Shih Tzu to a good home. And my little baby boy was in there and 20 minutes later, I'm at Walmart in Berry Hill picking him up. And when I got Arrow, I made a promise to him because he'd already gone from a family that didn't want him. I said, I'm never gonna make you feel unwanted again. And I'm going to strive to give you a better life. And four years later, here we are. He has a family, he has a sister, mom's doing okay, dad's doing okay. Um, we have a really cute house. And I have kind of got on this journey of slowly improving my life at the same time. And what I wanna to talk to you guys about today, it's a little granola, but bear with me. So June 1st, all of my other bills are paid online, but my big bill that gets paid today, I have to go and deliver a check to pay for our house. And if you guys have followed me for a little bit, you know I've had some crazy housing situations. This is the first place I've actually felt like it was home. I felt, um, you know, safe here, and we're already talking about upgrading, but it's my home right now, and I love this place. But I also, it's so funny because four years ago when I was concerned about the, like, I had $30 in my bank account when I got Arrow. Obviously now I have a lot more, but with the more money comes more problems as, um, I don't know which rapper said that. I don't want to say problems, but now it's, am I going to book a client this month? Am I going to book a client at my new rate? I raised my rates this month. Like, am I going to book a new client? And I'm, I'm staring at my bank account going, oh my God, after the bills are paid, I don't want to dip into savings. What's going on? And I finally had this moment this morning. I was about to just kind of like throw on no makeup and just put my hair in a bun and put on a band shirt and some shorts and run down to the post office. And I thought, no, my money deserves better than that. I worked incredibly hard for this money. My husband worked for this money. I made this money by styling people. I made this money that four years ago when I picked up Arrow at Walmart, I never would have thought that I would be able to make this money. I need to respect it. So I did my hair, I showered, I did my makeup, I put on a nice nice top, I put on, got on ankle boots with a heel, and I'm gonna take out my nicest bag to go to the post office to mail this check. And get Carrie estate at my one season, it was a half season, it was a, an apartment the size of this room. So I've upgraded my life, and it doesn't feel like I've upgraded when I'm stuck in that mindset. So I decided today that I was gonna show up and respect my money. Now I often tell you guys you need to show up and dress up to respect yourself and to other people. And it's, 
what a fun filter, by the way. I don't have a filter on here, I don't think. If I don't, if, I don't know, maybe it's showing up and I have like animal ears or something, but I see nothing on my end. So do I, do I have animal ears on right now, you guys? Because if that's the case, then we're going to start over because I can't talk about this when I have Oh, it looks cloudy. Okay, I was just concerned. My phone's been doing this lately. I need to upgrade it. So um, I was concerned I had like dog ears and I'm trying to talk about this. But show up for your money. When you are paying your bills, go get dressed up. When I go and pay my bills online, I still like to at least have my face washed and my hair brushed because I'm showing respect for the money that I've earned and I'm showing respect for the money that will continue to come into my life. So I got dressed up. I wrote the check and I like to kind of rewire my brain because I have a weird relationship with money. I always have, I've talked about it, I've been working on it. And my, I now call bills invoices for blessing, but invoices for blessings already received. I am so grateful that I have been able to keep my phone on because four years ago that wasn't happening. I'm so grateful that I have been able to keep the electricity on. I'm so grateful that I'm with someone that contributes to the household. Like I'm so grateful that I am able to do this and to keep all of this going by doing what I love. And Arrow was kind of a really nice reminder to that reason this morning for that. Uh, he was just a nice reminder this morning because I'm big into anniversaries and birthdays and all this kind of stuff. And when I looked at him this morning and I thought, man, we've come a long way, kid. And we will continue to go a long way. But instead of just throwing on my band shirt and putting my hair in a bun, um, I got dressed up for my money. I'm going to put my checkbook in my Chanel bag. I'm going to walk down. Well, I'm going to drive down because <laughs> it looks like it's going to rain. I'm going to go down to the post office. I'm going to write my check and I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for having the clients that have loved me. Thank you for people resonating with my message and my talent. Thank you for having all this stuff. And I'm going to show up as myself because when you show up as yourself on purpose, I always say this, your blessings, your, I've been saying that word a lot lately for someone that doesn't go to church, your blessings, your money, your quality of life is going to increase. So yeah, I got into a funk this morning. I got into a funk. I'm not going to lie. I was going to just do what I always say that people that are in a funk do and just throw on nothing and go down to the post office because my client list, I had two clients this month and they both couldn't afford my services. But I thought, you know what? Thank you clients because you're going to make room for more. Our neighborhood cat has just decided to come out and torture Bo. But if you're going to pay bills this morning, you guys, I know it's the first, I know it's really stressful for a lot of people. I want you to do something for me. If it's you want throw on red lipstick, if it's running a brush over your hair, if it's doing a full face of glam and carrying that nice bag that you save for a special occasion, show up for your money today. Because when you show up for your money, your money's gonna show up for you. So I hope that this little blip was really helpful to you guys. I hope it was a nice reminder. And um, thanks for everyone that sent me an arrow happy anniversary because he's the longest relationship I've had. <laughs> I love you guys. I will talk to you next week. You wear it well.